everybody, my name is Puna Azari and I'm a master's student of city and regional planning at the University of Stemek. My thesis is about implementation of nature-based solutions in the Stavanger University campus with the aim of sustainability and establishing a green campus. And my supervisor was Ari Krishna Mavira Tarika. The use of nature-based solutions to achieve energy efficiency is becoming more and more common since it has multiple environmental, social, and economic benefits. This also holds true for the campus of Stavanger University, which could learn a lot from NBS about how to develop into a more ecologically conscious and sustainable campus. By looking at the UIS campus, the question may be raised is that how is it possible to implement nature-based solutions into the UIS campus to bring sustainability and establish a green campus. This study makes use of qualitative and analytical methodologies, particularly literature review and case study, to explore the research on nature-based solutions and green campus development with a focus on the case study of Stavanger University. By examining these approaches, one can have a complete understanding of the theoretical foundations, benefits, challenges, and practical strategies associated with nature-based solutions for creating sustainable campus. The analysis of the research is divided into six steps. The first step was defining the nature-based solutions and the energy efficiency options it might introduce. A thorough investigation into how certain traits in specific plants could be mirrored in the buildings was done for the second step. Examining several other campuses that were experimenting with the green campus concept came as the third step. The fourth step was to carefully examine the case studies background, history, and current plan in order to have a clear grasp of it. The fifth step was to examine the results of using several nature-based solutions on campus. For the final step, the building orientations were also considered, which will aid in making greater use of the natural attributes. Four significant elements were identified as the greatest examples of nature-based solutions that can be implemented on the UIS campus as a result of the research. A desirable alternative for sustainable building design, green roofs offer a number of benefits. The first way they boost energy efficiency is by serving as an extra layer of insulation and preventing heat transfer between the building and the outside environment. This results in less energy being used for heating and cooling, which lowers carbon emissions and lowers energy prices. Furthermore, by absorbing and releasing heat, green roofs reduce the urban heat island effect and produce a cooler microclimate in the campus. A novel and creative approach to incorporate nature into the built world is through green walls, commonly referred to as living walls or vertical gardens. Numerous advantages of green walls have been demonstrated, including increased biodiversity, less noise pollution, and better air quality. Green walls can be included into building plans to increase energy efficiency in addition to these advantages. The architecture of the building can have an impact on the interior lighting and air quality. Therefore, it can be a fantastic spot to apply nature-based solutions. A good example of employing a plant's form as a building shell is the design of the flagstone building. The UIS building also have the ability to feature this stone. Adequate airflow is essential for maintaining indoor air quality and thermal comfort in buildings. Poor airflow can lead to indoor air pollution, high levels of indoor carbon dioxide, and discomfort due to hot or stuffy air. In order to ensure proper airflow in buildings, there are several strategies that can be employed, including the use of natural ventilation and, importantly, 
the design of the building envelope and building orientation. Thanks a lot for your attention.